Thank you everyone for being here today. Um, we're very excited to have you all joining us. And, and again, thank you for your time. Um, and so with that, let me start my presentation. Um, so the webinar today is going to be you know, fairly short. I want to spend um, a few minutes to talk about the um, LFA or lateral flow assay market overview. And then after that, we'll be talking about um, how nanocomposites can help provide the reagents for your um, lot of flow assay need. All right, um, so just an overview. Um, IVD is in, in vitro diagnostic uh, rapid point of care in which lot of flow is a type of rapid point of care test. This market was valued at about $8 billion as of 2020, and is expected to grow to about $11 billion by 2026, with a um, KGAR of about 6%. Within the IVD rapid point of care test, kit and reagent for lateral flow makes up the majority of the market share, with about 18% percent um, coming from the lot of flow readers, which are the equipment used to interpret the assay signal. Within the IVD rapid point of care market, we see that clinical testing makes up for a, the majority of the market share. Um, under the clinical testing, we have different categories such as infectious diseases, um, cardiac markers, women's health, so pregnancy tests in a, is an example. Um, as well as um, other biomarkers and drug abuse panel. Um, we're seeing a very strong demand and continue to see a very strong demand from lateral flow assay market because of the aging population. So people are living longer. Um, and as we live longer, we are more susceptible to getting sick. And so having a, a, a device that can um, diagnose illness um, within a very short amount of time is very important. Um, and so this, these are some of the reasons why lateral flow assay continue to be, uh, to, is continuing to grow and um, seeing very strong demands. So if you are um, new to lateral flow or if you've already have experience developing lateral flow assay, um, you are probably familiar with some of the different challenges um, associated with, with this application. The first challenge is not having enough sensitivity. So the assay is not performing as well as you would like. Um, additionally, some issues can arise from not having consistent results, which means that you can, uh, the assay can show a, a, a different result um, day by uh, day over day after day, or you can have a different uh, result, um, you know, across multiple time of testing. Uh, one of the other consideration for developing a lot of flow assay is the cost, because a lot of flow assay are usually sold for a very low price. So it is important for assay developer to be able to keep the costs of production down. And usually this can be difficult if the price for the raw ma material is, is high or if they don't have um, the, uh, a good process for scaling up, which is, um, which is the next issue, which is the scalability uh, issues when um, customers are um, uh, scaling up the, the production. And lastly, the lack of support and, and service from uh, customer um, who are using um, reagent from different vendors, but not really having the knowledge or understanding or support from the supplier to assist with uh, troubleshooting some of the issues. So um, given some of those background um, and uh, some of the challenges associated with lateral flow, the next, the next portion of the presentation, I want to talk a little bit about nanocomposites and how we can help a uh, lot of flow assay developers such as yourself overcome these challenges. So what you're seeing on the screen here is um, a, a summary of nanocomposites expertise. We are the um, nanoparticle um, producer and manufacturers, and we have the capability to make different types of material. So silica, silver, magnetic, fluorescence, um, et cetera, are some of the examples of the material that we can make. Additionally, we can also uh, change the chemistry on the surface of these particles 
in order to um, make the particle compatible to each of the customer's need. Um, and then um, we can also change the shape and, the, um, and integrate a, a core shell technology for these particle in order to create a customized solution to serve you, um, you know, based on whatever need or um, demand that you may have. Additionally, um, for each batch of material, each lot of material that you receive from nanocomposites, um, all of them comes with a very detailed certificate of analysis. On the certificate of analysis, you can find a lot of information about the types of product that you're working with, which allow you the, um, the ability to uh, understand um, the performance of the particle, the characteristic of the material. Um, and you can see that we take very good care in characterizing and making sure that we're delivering to very consistently performed um, products to, to our customers. So I want to bring the focus back a little bit on ladder flow. Um, because this is a very fast growing market, nanocomposites specifically design a product line that is used, uh, that's dedicated for ladder flow assay um, developers. So within this product line, we have different options, different gold particle options for um, passive and covalent conjugation. Um, we also have different sizes available. As Sandra mentioned earlier, we have the 40, the 80, and in, in, in addition to that, the 150 nanometer gold nano shell. Um, we're also able to mass produce these material at very large scale while maintaining the very high quality and consistency among the different batches. Uh, we also have the capability to produce these particle under our quality system, which is um, ISO 13485 certified. So let's talk a little bit more about the 40 nanometer um, and 80 nanometer citrate bowls. If you are um, familiar with lateral flow or if you are new to lateral flow, um, 40 and 80 uh, citrate bowl are some of the uh, common particle, especially 40 nanometer bowl. Um, they, it has been used for a very long time for lateral flow assay development. So if you're looking at a lateral flow assay with a red um, line, control line or test line, um, most likely that is from the uh, 40 nanometer citrate bowl. Um, and it is a very, um, it's easy material to work with it and, and a lot of assay developer tend to choose 40 nanometer gold citrate for their conjugation and for developing their ladder flow assay. So the product that nanocomposites um, wants to focus on is the passive conjugation kit. The reason we want to choose this uh, product to introduce to you is because one, if you are a, a ladder flow assay developer, whether you are new or if you have experience, this is a perfect kit for you because it, uh, the kit consists of um, different uh, reagents and buffers. So you don't have to spend time preparing the different buffers to do the conjugation. It's very easy to use. All of the material that you need um, are already provided in the kit. Um, and we also include a, a very detailed procedure as well as um, troubleshooting guide along with the kit in order to help support any, any issues that you may, may have during the, the process of de developing your conjugate. So I wanna talk a little bit about the process of preparing a passive conjugate. And I mentioned before, it's a very easy process. And so let me tell you why it's easy. Um, so it can, it can be done within a, an, about an hour or so. So, um, so it's, it's very um, time is, is, is sufficient. It doesn't take a lot of time. All you need to do is to use the reagent provided in the kit to prepare your sample. And then next you perform a series of pH titration. Um, why is pH titration important? The passive conjugation works by um, you know, spontaneous binding between the gold particle and the protein that you're using, which can be antibody, for example. Um, and it, they interact and they bind together through, it could be through Van der Waals reaction, could be through ionic uh, charge interaction, 
um, or hydrophobic, hydrophilic interaction. And so the pH of the environment is what uh, control these interactions. So it is important to find the right pH condition in order to optimize the binding process. So with the reagent that, that are provided in the kit, you can quickly perform the pH titration by just adding your antibody or any protein that you like to conjugate to the buffer that we provide at each of the different pH already, and then add the gold particle to those conditions. And then you will, next you will do a salt test or a salt challenge by adding just sodium chloride to each of those conditions. And as you can see on the screen, um, there will be a series of color changes happening uh, when you do this. And you can really quickly see which condition is, is the optimal condition to move forward. In this case, these three conditions on the right, right here, um, remain a, a red color. So that tells you that um, these pH points or the conditions are the, the one that you should choose. And you can do this really very easily by just do a visual check um, on these uh, conditions. After you're able to identify what condition works the best, you can move forward with blocking and then washing the conjugate and you are done. So again, the whole process should take um, about an hour or less. Um, and be, because we already provide all of the reagent that you that you need, um, you can save a lot of time by not having to prepare any of those buffers. For those of you who are already familiar with lateral flow or have experience doing passive conjugation, and maybe you would like to use a different method, maybe you would like to use um, potassium carbonate to titrate the pH, you can absolutely do so with the material in the kit and the gold particle. Um, some of the benefit of the kit, as I mentioned earlier, is that all of the reagents and buffers are already provided, so you can save a lot of time uh, from having to prepare those buffers. Um, again, the whole process is very quick, very simple, and can be done within about an hour. Um, for those of you, as, as I mentioned, who are familiar um, with working uh, with OD1 particle or OD2 or 5 or 10, you can absolutely dilute the gold nanoparticle down to whatever OD that you would like and then perform the conjugation, uh, either using the procedure that we, that we provide or using your own procedure. So it gives you the flexibility uh, to choose what method you would like to, to, to use. Um, and, and lastly, we include two different sizes of particle in the kit, 40 nanometer and 80 nanometer, so that you have two different options to choose um, in order to, to obtain the best chance of, of success for your assay. So after you use the kit, our hope is that you will achieve the success and the, the robust performance that you're looking for and then that you would continue to use the um, gold reagent from nanocomposites. And for, for, at nanocomposites, we, are, uh, we offer the, the gold nanoparticle um, for, to, to help support your development, your optimization, and your manufacturing. Uh, whether that is if you're producing 100,000 100, strip or 10 million strip, we have the capacity to provide gold reagent to meet that demand. Um, as I mentioned, um, we have different options for volume. So if you're new to lateral flow or if you have a, a new project, we can provide the particle in small quantity. Or once you've used the particle and you're ready for productions or manufacturing, we are able to scale up that process and provide the gold nanoparticle um, to, you know, to, to meet your manufacturing demand, um, we have the ability to produce 100 liter at OD20 um, a month. Um, again, if you have a, a higher demand than 100 liter, we can absolutely um, you know, work with you to, 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 meet, to meet that demand with no, with no significant lead time. Um, and and uh, you know, last but not least, the, the high concentration of the material um, can really help with the, the storage and the shipping logistic, as well as when you're scaling up the conjugation process for production, 
um, it is much easier to manipulate and work with a smaller volume at high concentration versus a larger volume at low concentration. So again, imagine if you have to spin or centrifuge 100 liters of liquid at OD1, for example, it is much easier to just work with five liter, right? At OD20. So it will save you a lot of time and it will save you costs on using or scaling up um, infrastructure or, or getting the equipment to accommodate large volume. So in summary, um, our, our gold reagent, our, our gold nanoparticle, um, can bring you a lot of benefits. Uh, one of those benefits is, again, I want you to uh, emphasize on the, the quality of the product that we provide, um, as well as the cost. We're able to help um, you save on a lot of costs because we have the ability to, to scale up the productions and the volume of the nanoparticle, therefore helping you cut the cost down. Um, the ability to provide the material at very high concentration give you a lot of flexibility to work with um, the, the material at any concentration you like. Um, if you are already familiar with, with passive conjugation, you can absolutely drop in our material, our product to any of those existing projects and quickly um, evaluate the performance of the product. Um, and then with that, um, that is all I have for the presentation today. Thank you, everyone.